Heat waves can have significant impact on, on humans. For example, they've been estimated to be responsible for more deaths than all natural hazards combined. They also affect other animals, they affect agriculture yields, infrastructures, and all these uh, impacts, they come with a cost. For example, the loss of revenue due to businesses that don't have electricity backup, repairs to damaged infrastructure, increase in the demand of public health services, and in general, the loss of productivity can cost millions just in a single day of heat wave. We know that heat waves have already changed in the last century. More frequent, more intense, and longer heat waves in much of the state. In the far future, these changes are even going to be larger. For example, the longest heat wave in a year is going to be around four days longer in coastal areas and up to 10 days longer in the north of the state. Not only are we going to have longer and more intense heat wave, but we're also going to have many more days of temperature above 40 degrees Celsius in much of the state. We know that there are industries like farming and agriculture sectors that are already starting to adapt to these impacts by using sunscreens to protect the crops or by using shared infrastructures or sprinklers to keep the livestock cool and therefore more productive. The information we provide here can be used by governments to better design public health plans and infrastructure development plans. This information can be also used by local councils to inform building codes and help people stay cool in their homes and reduce their reliance on air conditioning.